Described as criminally talented. Let's see if he breaks any laws tonight. One of our favourites back on the show, Arch Barker. <laughs> I'm in a great mood. I just got a new iPod and it's the best one. It's an 80 gigabyte iPod because I like to jog for three and a half weeks at a time <laughs> and I do not want to hear the same song twice. <laughs> Nothing screws up my run more than two and a half weeks into it. What? <laughs> I have the Tiger again <laughs> and it's only this big which is great because it goes in my belt and it keeps my hands free for my 500 liter bottle of Gatorade. <laughs> I, I love texting. I text all the time. Uh, I think it's great. This one girl's like, I think it's so impersonal. Texting's impersonal. What? Texting's way more personal than a conversation. You can't insert faces into a conversation. <laughs> no one knows what you're talking about. You're like, yeah, so I didn't get the job, colon, open bracket. <laughs> They're like, what'd you call my colon? <laughs> I didn't say anything about your colon, man. I totally less than three, you man. I got tons of less than three for you. Less than three. It's like it's like this thing and then a three. It's a heart. Oh. Oh, guess what? Turns out jokes are funnier when you freaking get them, huh? Don't blame it on me. I love Australia. I love the food here in Australia. It's great too. And Vegemite's great. I would never change anything. I mean, you can't make Vegemite better. And if I was forced to say anything, the only thing I would maybe say is maybe just like maybe just like a tiny bit more salt. Because I don't think my I don't think my mouth is quite dry enough after I take a bite. Like, hmm, hmm, Vegemite's good. Oh, what's that in my tooth? Hmm. Oh, a camel. I mean about that. You know, when you go into a Thai restaurant and you order spring rolls. What you're really saying is, excuse me, but I've got too much skin on the roof of my mouth. <laughs> Could you please see to it that 13 or 14 layers of it are removed in as painful a manner as possible? I'll pay you, and I'll also speak in this 1930s movie voice. Free of charge. Got it, fella? Crank up the car, Sally. We're going out to eat. <laughs> Every time I come out here, I get some uh, emails before I come, you know, mostly nice. I got this one email that said, hey, mate, you're coming back to Australia. I know why you come out here. You just want to drink our beer and steal our women. And I just felt sad <laughs> that in this progressive age that anybody thinks that a woman is a thing which can be stolen. Uh, excuse me, but a woman is a highly sophisticated, infinitely complex, deeply intelligent being. And it needs to be carefully tricked into doing things. You can't just steal it. Throw up. So I was shaving the other day. I hadn't shaved for a while. And I just noticed, I never noticed this before, I actually have some white hairs growing in my beard. And that can only mean one of two things. Either I'm getting older or I'm a wizard. <laughs> We all know which one of those is more likely, <laughs> don't we? Thank you very much. Thank you.